In the game's battle section of the strategy guidebook, things like how battles work and some strategic tips are mentioned. Max's diary also appears on these pages. This is the story of the main character about the events that occur in each battle, up to the battle against Dark Soul, with a slightly humorous tone. The months here have different names and have more than 31 days. Red Sparrow 23rd What's going on at the ancient castle gate? I was asked by the king for such a thing, so I decided to go see the state of the castle gate, and I went there. Then, there were a rune knight and others looking for the key to the seal. First, I must kick them out of the castle gate. An earthquake occurs just as we are about to fight. My head feels dizzy, so I run away to the mountain hut. Luckily, Gong joined us at the mountain hut. Hooray! With him, even someone like me, who has little actual combat experience, should be able to handle it somehow. Go back to the castle gate and resume the battle. However, the sight of dwarves wielding their axes is scary. I have no choice but to ask everyone to do their best here. This is why a commander can't stop. Ha ha ha. Red Sparrow 27th Worried about the Rune Knight's words, I quickly retreated from the ancient castle gate. However, Guardiana was already under siege by the Runefost army. Sadly, the king is in danger. I want to use the carriage to return to Guadiana in two seconds, but I can't find the carriage I should have gotten on. Oh no. I don't deserve to be stolen in a place like this. I had no choice but to return on foot while fighting. However, the mountainous area is tough. I think I'll run out of stamina before the fight. As expected, by the time I crossed the bridge near Guardiana, the magic power of Ro and Gon had run out. It seems that everyone can't hide their tiredness. Oh, what? Only Han seems fine. He's just pulling the bow. It's a little unfair. Red Sparrow 35th Chasing Kane who went to Alt alone. May and Gort will accompany me from this time. Both have a lot of strength, so it's a relief. However, there was something that got in the way of that relaxing state. It's a mega bat. Its agility is high, and its movement speed is incredible. Even though it's just that, when you are attacked, the elements of sleep permeate your body from its fangs, turning you into a sleepy person. As a result, many friends sleep while standing. If this were the case, I would have been better off staying the night at the Hotel Guardiana. The countermeasure is to deal damage with Ken's spear and finish off by stabbing them. The combination built on this relationship of trust is the key to victory. Green Swallow 7 In a completely different battle than before, we fight the Runefast army in the town of Altalone. My heart aches a little when I think of the people who clean up all the trash after the battle. But it can't be helped because we fought. That's what it is. Oh yeah, from this battle, Tao, a devoted mage, grew to level 4 and was able to use Blaze level 2. With that, she can attack many enemies at once. Just when I thought that Tao was amused and was using Blaze level 2 like crazy. Burn, burn. No matter what, if the enemy burns, so does the ground. Even a house caught fire. I was saved because I didn't live in that house, but I'll be in trouble if she's not careful from now on. Green Swallow 15. We have just arrived in Lindland, but we are leaving soon to Manalina. But what spreads out in front of us was the monsters guarding the town of Manalina and the vast desert. As far as the distance goes, it's likes from Guardiana to Altalone. However, in the desert, the movement speed drops considerably. If a dark mage's blaze hits you while you're walking around crying, how hot is it? Nothing will come out. It seems impossible to think of something convenient, such as trying to break through without getting hurt. If you don't give instructions, many friends will evaporate at once. It's hard to be a commander. I wish Nova would go that far. Come to think of it, I don't think zombies look good in the dry desert, do you? You think? Green Swallow 26. Otranto, who is the greatest in Manalina tells me to challenge the dark cave. It's a journey where you can't see the future, so it would be nice if you could find your destiny around here. 
Besides, the princess of Guardiana, Anri, will fight with you from this time. I must do my best to make her, who doesn't know me very well, get to know me as a person. The humidity inside the cave is high. There are a lot of zombies who are perfect for such atmosphere. Well, let's leave the zombies to Tao, who's itching to use blades. The problem is the skeleton that guards the treasure chest that, I think, contains the shining orb. It seems that only bones are powerful. For the time being, should I let Gord do it? Let's make everyone active. Blue Deer Second. When you infiltrate the circus hut in search of the chairman's grandson, you'll find the fortune teller woman from Alt Alone standing there. Surprisingly, she seems to be a person from Runfost. She keeps saying what she wants to say to me and then disappears. All that's left is her alter ego Misha Eladal and the circus monsters. All right. Let's fight, shall we? However, Misha Eladal's freeze level 3 is too cold. Because she used such a spell, the pillars that supported the circus hut were frozen. Therefore, I am afraid that the ceiling will fall. First, get Tao and Anri to chant Blaze to make a bonfire. I don't have the desire to fight until it warms up. Gong is naked. Blue Deer 10th. First time meeting Dark Soul. He left after saying something I didn't understand. When I suddenly noticed, I was surrounded by zombies. Was this the trap that the stone-stated Barbaroi was talking about? For the time being, it's okay to use return and escape, it's fine if you're about to lose. Well, even I shouldn't be beaten. I'll have my friends who trust me do their best. Since there are a lot of zombies in particular, Tao and Anri must go full blast. The skeleton are the other opponents on the battlefields. Mei and Ken will support as well. Ha! What's Arthur doing? Hey! Hey! You're no longer in charge of the laundry, so don't do the laundry. It would be better if you fought. Please. I'm begging you. Blue Deer 19th. Finally, I must decide who I want to rest at the headquarters. Even when I asked Nova, he simply said, you, the commander, should decide. The three new participants are Diane the Archer, and Barbaroy and Amon the Birdman. Inevitably, three people will be absent. First, it's Hans who doesn't have the will to fight. Diane seems to be stronger. Then there's Ro, who is suspected of touching the princess's buttocks, and Arthur, the laundry man. The roads in the quarry are narrow, so if you have someone who can fly, you'll have a wider range of attacks. Let Barbaroy and Amon do their best. However, since the husband and wife go to great lengths to attack, it would be interesting if there was a special attack unique to the couple. The Miyoto Zensai attack. I want you to do it. Blue Deer 25th. Zappa, Patriarch of Base Talk, joins us. It seems that Atranto of Manalina has spoken to him. Don't do that, Atranto. For now, let's replace him with Amon. I want you to show me the power of a werewolf. From base talk to the log bridge, you will pass through a forest area. Again, Runefost gets in the way. It seems that this time they are preparing a strong enemy called Pegasus Knight. But here we have Zappa. Zappa runs around the forest like it's his own garden. It's so fast that it's hard for other people to keep up with it. Of course, there's no way I know where Zappa is. As a commander, it's embarrassing. I wonder if he won't be back for a while. Blue Deer 29th. An eyeball machine installed in the log bridge. This is Runefost's secret weapon, the laser eye. It is unknown how it was transported from the quarry. Let's destroy it before even thinking about it. According to wine rumors, laser eye cannot attack unless it counts to 10. All right, it's an assault. We tried to defeat it before counting to 10, but we met fierce resistance from Lizardmen and Pegasus Knights. This is unlikely to proceed. Now when we thought it was bad, a beam was emitted from the eyeball of the laser eye. Everyone on the log bridge takes damage. Not only allies, but also the enemy Silver Knight was damaged. It seems that the laser eye is a weapon of indiscriminate attack. I'm glad they only had one. Black Horse First. Shogun Elliot, 
who has been around for a long time on the Rune Continent. After a discussion on the POW train, it's finally time to fight. Before that, the Knight's Pale and Vanguard, the plain old man Kokichi, and the mysterious animal Yogurt joined us. Here we have Pale and Yogurt participate in the battle, and May and Rag rest. The POW Great Plain is a place with a good view. Terrain-based strategies are completely useless. Attack with fairness. Elliot must have wanted that too. Still, Pale is reliable. As expected, he was hired with money. As for Yogurt. It's kind of a mascot. I guess he didn't understand what to do. I'm sure. I want to think so. Black Horse 8th. Ulan Batar, an impregnable fortress. It seems that Ernest, who was on the POW train, has already attacked and dealt damage. Follow this up with an attack. I also gained more friends. Gans from Linland and Domingo, who had just hatched from an egg. Gans has just arrived, so he's taking a break. Domingo is a cheeky guy, so let's see how good he is. Barbaroy is replaced. The Ulaanbaatar fortress is already weakly protected. Let Domingo advance there. Domingo repeatedly calls out Freeze. He seems like a strong guy. My friends also seem to have changed their minds. However, he starts talking saying the people here don't know, but... Oh no. This will lower their morale. Black Horse 14th. Break through the Ulaanbaatar fortress. A ship is moored in the harbor behind the fortress. If we could get that, we might be able to go to the eastern continent. If this happens, I will seize the ship no matter what. Let's go. I rescued Ernest who was captured by Runfost and confronted Barbazark in the port. Suppress the urge to board the ship and deal with sea bats and hellhounds. Be careful not to be surrounded by the self-propelled artillery, the brass loaders. Approach bit by bit to Barbazark. Surrounding puppets are exterminated from a distance with Diane's bow attack. Also attack Barbazark from a distance, and Ernest deals the final blow. The ship is mine now. Yeah. Black Horse 25th. Ah, sailing on a ship. Thinking about it, how many times have I wet my pillow since the ship was burned at Linland? Everyone is looking at the sea with a mysterious expression. Some people are worried about not being able to swim, others hate the sea breeze, and so on. Domingo is the only one who speaks as proudly as usual. When you were swaying carefree, the Runefast army chases you here. Turban shells and flying units such as Pegasus Knight approaching. It looks like they're trying to destroy ships rather than attack us. If we don't stop them somehow, we'll become food for the fish. Also, I'm not used to boat trips, so I think it's okay if you let me enjoy it a little more. I'm a little stingy. Black Horse 32nd. After following the skeleton, we arrived at a mysterious place. There stood a master mage yelling something at the wall. Try to listen carefully. Then, I heard a mysterious language. Ethel, Kothol, Horthol. Is this a new spell? What is the effect? Mysteries that call mysteries that call more mysteries. When I approached with curiosity, Runfost noticed me, and the battle started. However, no one tries to attach him because they are afraid of the mysterious spell. At this rate, we will lose. That's what I thought, so I encouraged Diane, who was promoted to bow master. Shoot, Diane. The robin's arrow is shot with a roaring sound. The master mage died in one shot. What was that spell? Shakudo Snake 5th. Repair the ship and set sail from Worrell. Everyone has been in a bad mood since the last boat trip. Tiredness is showing on their faces. All we can see is the horizon, so I guess we're just getting tired of it. It would be bad if we were attacked at a time like this. It's only then that we were attacked. In battles on board, it seems that guys who can fly have an advantage. Nova says it, and Barbaroy says it too. If you don't use the guy who actively asks for it, you might get a grudge later. Use Barbaroy and Kokichi to gain air superiority. This is the only way. Okay, let's go. I feel like the number of turban shells is increasing as I fight. 
I hope it's just my imagination, but the reality is harsh. Hey! Shakudo Snake 11th. We landed at Rudall Village and learned about the power of the seal. Even if it's just a coincidence, I'm very lucky. All right. Lyle also joined us. Let's go to Dragonia to find the survivors of the God Dragons. As soon as we left Rudall Village, the Runefast army was waiting. It looks like they're planning something in Dragonia. However, there are only a few people who get in the way. Defeat one after another and move forward. Lyle walks slowly, but he's a donkey, so that's okay. Bip bip, it's very easy, but suddenly golems appear near Dragonia. Wow, what a place to appear. The soft-bodied large magic combination is defeated. Get out from the beginning. That's cowardly. Shakudo Snake 18th. Varius summons up his courage and decides to fight by my side. Hooray! Before I knew it, Kane came asking for a fight. To avenge Guardiana, let's depart from the headquarters with warriors with high attack power. Tau casts Blaze and Anri uses Freeze. Give guidance to people who are weak. As a result, their level increases. That's a good pattern. Kane is a master of wielding the Sword of Darkness as if it were his own arm. Pale and Diane, who went to defeat the Dullahan and the High Priest, were defeated by Kane. Strong. Too strong. If you go to the Vanguard at a time like this, you'll be targeted in no time. Bringing everyone's powers together to surround Kane. Only with willpower. Shakudo Snake 25th. Unable to keep up with the rapid development, we head south to the Demon Castle. A man becomes obsolete if he keeps saying what he wants to say like Misha Ella. Let's corner her. Veriu, who became an ally in Dragonia, has weak attack power even if he changes classes. Is it impossible to give up being a coward like this? If a Belial casts Spark, he will be on the verge of death in two seconds. Our army has no leeway, so it is difficult to train people. I want you to grow up on your own. It was supposed to be Zappa's specialty when it came to forests, but after he became Wolf Baron, they treated him coldly. Therefore, at times like this, he can't get rid of them with a single blow. The commander is bad. The commander. Oh, that's me. I'm sorry. Shakudo Snake 30th. Here we come at last, the Demon Castle. Finally, I just found it the other day. We just invade because there are no guards. They are careless. There is only one room in it. This castle makes me laugh. Ha ha ha. Defeat the master mages and belials that get in your way and rush to Misha Ella's throne. The Sword of Light must be in the treasure chest that the Dullahan is protecting. First, let Gort exterminate the Dullahan. He's strong. Let's send reinforcements. All right, we defeated the Dullahan. Next is Misha Ella. Just when I thought about that, the range designation of a powerful spell overlaps my friends. What? The next moment, a storm of sparks. Are you kidding me? What the hell? Yellow Tiger Second. From prompt to an ancient tower. We must go through the woods again. As usual, Lyle tends to be late. It would be nice to let the secondary army fall, but I can't throw away the taste of the assault cannon. Let's do our best to walk. Among the Runefast army that I suddenly encountered, there were guys who were made with machine parts. There are a variety of types, such as ones that ram you, and ones that shoot beams. Among them, the beam will deal 20 points of damage. Far from being painful, two shots would put you on the brink of death. It was Musashi who joined the group in prompt. That saves me from such a pinch. He cuts the enemy in two with the famous sword Kiku Ishimanji. He's a reliable guy. Yellow Tiger 8th. Anri learns spark. It's the spark that the Belials and Misha Ella used so much. Anri can cast a spark that makes you feel dead just by being hit. She will have to use this again. Whether it's a torch eye or a wyvern, crush them with spark. Do it. At the top of the ancient tower stands the demon master. A new mage, but not scary at all compared to Misha Ella. 
With so many dark magic users like her, no one would advance. Anyway, let's think about defeating the Demon Master for now. If you take the halberd from the treasure chest and charge with Pale, it's a one-shot attack. Yellow Tiger 15th Adam is defeated by chaos that suddenly appears. While I was wondering what was going on, the battle began. A large group of the Torch Eyes and Jet Machines, and many others like the Demon Masters, have appeared in a small space. And the Runefost army, which doesn't rush, rushes at us. Friends get hurt and fall. It's bad. It's very bad. It's a pity, but I will withdraw once with return. Then, add Aleph and Taurus, who were revived and became friends at the Ancient Tower, and try again. It looks like things are going well this time. And when I try to defeat Chaos, the Beam of Chaos attack my heart. Ugh, let's start over again. Yellow Tiger 23rd Finally, head to Runefost, the headquarters of the Troop of Darkness. Of course, it's not going to be easy. Cerberus, Armuros, Bow Rider, Bulova, and other fierce creatures boasting extraordinary strength stand in our way. Especially Bulova. He holds an axe in both hands and deftly attacks. I thought it was just a direct attack, but it shoots something unknown like a beam from its stomach. He's a selfish guy who even uses indirect attacks. Burning Woman, Tao, use Blaze level 4 to immediately set it on fire. If you try to approach him with that in mind, Bowrider's long-range indirect attack will hit this time. Don't do that Runefost. While I was admiring that, my friends collapsed. Am I going to withdraw again? Yellow Tiger 33rd We arrived at Runefost. However, there is no army in town. Hearing Mahat's story, we decided to pursue the Runefost army. Dark Soul is in front of the newly built castle. This guy seems to be the root of evil. When he immediately tried to attack me, he fled into the depths of the castle, and Lambradu, the emperor of Runefost, appeared in his place. Lambradu also retreated into the back while he was flustered by the speed of deployment, and the battle began. Ugh, stay here. The Shinobi Hanzo will help us in this battle. He's a strong man who can use Soul Steel, a one-hit kill spell. However, a Shinobi is like a shadow. I'll keep you at the headquarters. Dark Soul can be defeated without the help of a shadow. Maybe. Purple Pearl 4th with the help of my friends, I managed to defeat the Blue Dragons, Chimeras, and other breath-breathing monsters. All that's left now is to challenge Lambradu to battle. Torch Eyes and Plain Metals have appeared, but judging from their current strength, they are not enemies. Our agility is also higher here, so we will destroy the crazy machine guys with a sure win first. Let's deal with Lambradu after they're destroyed. When the only one left is Lambradu, he finally got up. And then, the moment I thought he was approaching Pale, his weapon flew away with centrifugal force. Ah, Pale dies in one hit. Strong. Very strong. Alright, it's time for the usual octopus punching strategy. Good luck everyone. I'll cheer you up. Purple Pearl 15th Sneak into the ancient castle. It's been a long road. Various events revive in my mind like a revolving lantern. I've had a lot of trouble, but all I must do now is defeat Dark Soul. Let's go inside. Dark Soul is not inside the castle. Ha! Where are you hiding? While looking for various things, I feel the presence of a monster. It seems that the castle's defense system has been activated. The Colossus starts moving and the Chimeras attack. We were taken by surprise, but Anri's spark. Tao's Blaze Level 4, and Diane and Lyle's Buster Shots intercepted the tag team of the Chimeras and Blue Dragons. Colossus was the only one left. Surround and defeat them one by one. Ha! We beat them without getting hurt. Weak. Purple Pearl 20th. We pierced the Colossus without difficulty and invaded further. We finally found Dark Soul. Fight the final battle. Anri and Tao's spell shines, and Gort brandishes the Atlas Axe. Diane and Lyle's buster shot blows fire and Barbaroi flies around. Pale throws the Valkyrie, and Chip and Gong run around to heal. 
Musashi cuts in two with the Kiku Ishimanji, and Domingo floats carefree. And then, I finish it off with the Chaos Breaker. Hunt down Dark Soul with the best combination. His demon breath is powerful, but it's no match for our octopus punching tactics. Alright, I defeated Dark Soul. Good, I was overwhelmed with joy.